Oh, so your mom finally told you? What's up, everyone? It's America Plus. I'm your host, Cole McCormick. It's another week, another episode. What's going on, everybody? It's Sunday. <laughs> My voice is so screwed, dude. My voice. Everyone, welcome to another beautiful week of America Plus, folks. I'm, I'm your host, Cole McCormick. My voice is a little different. I got a story for you, <laughs> guys. Um, this episode, it's going to be a great episode. The narratives we're focusing on is, of course, mothers. I need to discuss my mother in hopes of relating to you and your mothers. If you're so inclined to have one, if you are currently living your life and you don't have a mom, whether because of any life reason, it's okay. And I'm not trying to like shove my mom onto you, but I am just trying to openly discuss my experience of having a mother, okay? And the sound of my voice is connected to it, okay? Um, so it's going to be a good week. Uh, we're going to be hanging out. Might be a short one. It's a late night, late night vibe. So it's Mother's Day, right? Let me just tell you what's been going on this day, today. Today, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you all so much. Thank you all for being you. Um, because I work on Mother's Day, because I work in a kitchen on Mother's Day, it is the it is quite truly the most busy time of the year. Um, I've been told it's the busiest holiday in restaurant life. So you got to take it for what it's worth. La- last year, this is also all lining up to my one-year anniversary at my kitchen job at Roos Chris Steakhouse. So round of applause for me again. Like, thank you so much. Like, just a, just a short one. One year. One whole year at the steakhouse. That's the last applause I'll ask for. One whole year, dude. Um, one whole year of chopping potatoes. And I'm here. I'm still alive. And we're, I'm past 25. And uh, we're, we keep on living, dude. We keep on living and we're learning. And today was a good day. I brought in some Topo Chico's for my boys. Topo Chico's is like a really nice carbonated drink. No one ever mentions it. Adam Curry doesn't mention it. Dave Jones doesn't mention it on Podcasting 2.0. Dvorak doesn't mention any Topo Chico on No Agenda. Like, who's drinking Topo Chico? Anybody? I love Topo Chico. Lime. Give me the Topo Chico with the lime. Give me the little... Perfect, dude. Thank you, Topo Chico. Thank you, Mexico. But I brought those in. Chopped a a shit ton of potatoes, like 90 pounds of potatoes, just doing a bunch of a grad and potatoes is craziness. Anyway, I'm not going to go deep into that. It was a long day. Got some overtime. It's good vibes. With that, I texted my mom. It's Mother's Day, right? I texted my mom. I texted my sister, who's a mother. And I also texted my grandmother. I didn't wish my grandmother happy Mother's Day because A, she's not my mother, but B, It's my grandma's birthday today as well. My grandma's birthday always lines up with Mother's Day. So it's like this like triple threat of like things that you need to like remember. It's wild, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. My sister's a mom. mom. Oh, that's right. I got to wish my mom happy Mother's Day. Oh, my God. It's grandma's birthday. Oh, my God. So all these things happening at once. I sent all these text messages and uh, really nice interactions with all of them. And I want to discuss the ones with my mom. The interactions with my mom. Just some text messages here. Um, <clears throat> and again, this is all going to connect to why I sound like this. I didn't expect to sound like this, but life just like speaks to you loudly. Okay? And now we're doing a podcast. So I said, happy happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Yada, yada, yada. My mom goes, oh, Coley, thank you. I'm about to make some mimosas. That's great, Mom. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Go do you. And then she's telling me my grandma's 75. Congrats to my grandma. And uh, I'm at work, right? And out of the blue, I, I asked my mom, what should I talk about on my podcast today? Because maybe it's appropriate to get my mother's um, opinion on this. You know, I don't always ask her uh, for her suggestions. You know, uh, if, if you're if you're around a mother, you might receive suggestions that you never ask for. And you just need to accept them and you need to let them let them in and you shouldn't reject them. Today was a rare day where I actually requested my mom to give me some su- suggestions. 
And the first thing that she sends, the first thing is you should talk about how smoking pot enables kicking the can down the road instead of problem solving like it covers the issue. Smoking pot could could be coping behavior instead of self-care. This is coming from several clients telling me – she's a therapist. This is coming from several clients telling me they have stopped smoking because it's no longer serving their goals. Ooh. Very interesting. Um, why I wanted to bring that up is because at the end of today, I literally – and this is not – so I, I've been like not smoking weed – but April, I, I was smoking a little weed. I was off weed for like a few months. And I've been feeling really good. And I've been doing like like more better meditations. And my mom sends me this midday. I'm on lunch. And what, what does my ass do at the end of a long ass day of overtime? I go with my friends and I smoke some weed. And I'm sort of just like thinking about what she says to me. And I'm like, you know what? I deserve it. Like... It's been a long day, dude. Like, who cares, bro? And now I sound like this. Like, I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to say, like, my mom spoke something into existence. I still wanted to do the podcast. I still want to do everything I want to do in my life. And maybe she has a point. But I'm just, like, laughing at, like, she tells me to talk about the dangers of marijuana. And then I'm smoking marijuana. And now you can hear. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice, dude. Even more than last week. You could barely hear anything wrong in my voice last week, but this week, no bueno. So that's interesting. And what do you think about that? Do you are, do you agree with this mother's take on pot? Um, could it be coping? It is it is it all cope? Is we just cope? <laughs> I love that. I love that narrative. I think it's funny. Um, or is it self care? I know today I was trying to use it for self care. I'm um, just trying to relax. You know, I really, I've been. Uh, whoops! I've been trying to figure out what is a healthy way to unwind at the end of a long, stressful day, and not on a daily basis. But I have been leaning into alcohol. You know, I even have um, I, I even have like a the smallest bottle of alcohol. This is not like if you're watching the video, this is not a normal sized wine bottle. This is like it looks like a Topo Chico bottle, <laughs> and I got some wine. And I low-key want to drink some right now, but, like, I'm like, should I? <laughs> like, I have so much guilt. Let me just do a little. Like, it tastes good, dude. So, would my mom rather me drink some wine, or would my mom rather have me smoking weed? Like, what do you want, mom? Tell me. Tell me what you want, mom. <clears throat> um, and, it, and I also thought it was interesting that it was coming from her client, so she's a therapist, she just got her master's degree, um, and she's going through the process of getting the correct certification to have her own practice. Um, she's focusing on women with trauma, sometimes kids. I guess right now it's a lot of kids. And so she's dealing with y mainly younger people who have stopped smoking, I guess. So that's an interesting thing, and I think it's totally cool that like, I wonder if, if, if weed is like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I wonder if weed is one of the rare drugs, um, where people are like aware of how much they use it and for why and how much control they have over it. I feel like it's unique because of that, because you are able to identify that you're smoking too much. And if you really want to just go, just, just cold Turkey, like I did for a few months. So shout out to those people, dude. And then my mother goes, and this con and this narrative continues. Um, and my mom t uh, then sends, "We should do a mental health podcast together." Oh, okay. See if people are interested. I was like, okay. I was, and I was like, yes, we should. I told her. I was like, yeah, mom, let's do it. Let's do a mental health podcast, mother son mental health cast. And uh, she told me to find a unique angle. Once I'm licensed, I can be an official expert. <laughs> Hell yeah, of course. You're an expert. You're an expert, mom. Of course you are. And I immediately uh, sent her. The angle is we take topics from your practice and world news and discuss from the therapist 
and son's point of view. Um, I said from the th- from a therapist and spiritual point of view. Um, and then she was like, "Oh, that's interesting." And like she would be the therapist, I'd be like the spiritual like perspective, and her and I would like bounce ideas back and forth, bounce news topics, what's going on in the world, what's going on with mental health, how does a person think, why does a person think the way they think? Like that could be interesting. Mother son combo. What do you think of that, dude? Value for value. Do you think that's interesting? I think it is. So maybe my mom's onto something here. <clears throat> and it goes on and she just goes, oh, that's interesting. Like, um, that, that, that's cool. And I was like, I'll, I'll look into it. There's no other show like that. So this is me looking into it. <laughs> and uh, that was the end of that conversation with my mom. <clears throat> and it was just a good time, dude. So got some new ideas when it comes to podcasting. Um, I was already planning this second podcast, this storytelling podcast. Which is happening, by the way. This It's called Cole Story. Cole Story is still happening. The issue that I've been having is um, figuring out the right music uh, for like a theme and for, and for like the episodes. Because each story is going to be like its own thing, right? So I've been playing around with this idea of having a theme song. Where does that theme song come from? And what songs, like how do I incorporate value for value music? inside of like a story like this like i'm crafting and i've been playing around with some of the music stuff too um like some of the um i meant to say some of the ai music stuff udio w uh d i o udio that's one of the ai music sites that i've been using just to play around with i made some cool things i want to show you this i want to show you what i um what I made. It's actually really cool. So I've been playing around with this. Uh, let me go to it. I've been playing around, around around with this tool. And it's been something of like, it's been like a month maybe since I started it. And I never want to try to create lyrics with the AI stuff. Because like stuff like this is always like really rudimentary. And, I, and I'm playing with the idea of like using... AI music as a theme and I know that's like sacrilegious to say in the world of value for value but I'm just playing with this and my favorite one is oh where is it it's called oh I know it's okay so there's ethereal fantasy so I was making these like these uh the like old-fashioned swing jazz music like 1920s swing jazz songs and I think it's really interesting um, here's this first one, okay? Like, well, like, what do you think of this right here? Like, this is AI. Right? Like, it just keeps, like, it sounds real, right? It sounds a little real. And then there's this other one. So, like, you can do, like, versions of it, right? You can do... Like version one, version 1.2, you can add things, you can subtract things, you can add things in the middle, you can do an opener, you can do an ending to the song. Um, And then I found this one, this is called Ethereal Fantasy Swing. Does it sound like AI? I don't I don't know how to place it. I love that part. When I heard that part, that was like some real thing to me. I was like, whoa, it's doing trumpets. It's doing random trumpets. <clears throat> and the real one, I had like a really good one, but they changed the freaking song title on me for some reason. Um, I don't know why that happened. Is it this one? No. Oh yeah, this one. Did you hear that in the beginning? Hear that in the beginning. It sounds like they're tr- they're really trying to make it to like 1920s. Listen. Oh. Come on, baby. It's Steve Rogers. Wanna come dance with me? I'm Captain America. <laughs> It sounds like a fun thing. So I've been thinking about having Cole's story 
have a theme that's like old jazz swing. I've been playing with this on the AI, dude, so I kind of like it. But when it comes to the value for value stuff, I want to use value for value music. <clears throat> but I don't know who's making swing jazz like that, dude. So I'm putting that out to the audience, like, please send me some song suggestions for the theme. Um, if there's no value for value suggestion, then like, I guess I'm like, I'm really leaning towards using the AI music for the fake <laughs> jazz, for the fake jazz, fake jazz. It's my Trump impression with this voice. Fake jazz. It's terrible. It's horrible. Fake jazz. Disgusting. <clears throat> I kind of like it. I'm kind of vibing with it. I think there's a way to use the AI for your benefit. So we'll see about that, man. But it's all just it's all just circulating randomly, right? All randomly. Let me get another little sip. I'm drinking a Cabernet right now. Cabernet Sauv Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. <coughs> And I'm not coughing because of the smoke in today. I'm coughing because like I've been getting over a cold for the last like week. I've been trying to do Wim Hof. I've been doing Wim Hof breathing. It's been helping me a ton. But today after smoke <laughs> after smoking smoking the dope with my with my coworkers. Just killed my voice, dude. No bueno for a podcast day. No good. Um and that really takes me to I I, I just want to focus on my observations of my mother's observations attached to my experience. After smoking weed today, I just felt like I really felt different. I really felt like there was so much energy in my head. And maybe that was in the form of anxiety or something else. But it's been long enough and I've had enough meditations to, to really feel what I'm supposed to feel. To feel a calmness, to feel love, or to feel um, acceptance, I guess. <clears throat> I've gone to a place in my meditations where I really feel calm in my chest. And like there, there, there's this peaceful energy flowing through my body. Like I really just feel good and relaxed. And when I smoke weed nowadays, it's like it just changes and like it just like... I get like 1.21 gigawatts to the freaking cranium, dog. Like it's it's so much energy up there. Like, and it's something that I used to seek out, but now it's something that I like. I'm, I'm sort of like I'm, I don't want to say afraid of it, but I'm like really aware of it. I'm really become aware of that, and so I'm I, I'm going. I, I bring all this up because I'm going through this like how to relax. Like back and forth, rock in a hard place, alcohol or dispensary, <laughs> like bar or dispensary. Which one do you want to go to? A lot of people go to both, you know, and maybe I'm overthinking a lot of this, but it's just like I I want to have healthy, healthy habits. I want to have healthy. I, I, I want to be consuming things for the right reasons. And I know that stopping consuming cannabis was the smart move. And experimenting um, within the last month and today I've just like felt a huge I would say more on the negative side of side effects uh, I've, I've I've really experienced huge negative side effects from smoking recently and it's not something that I've really like enjoyed so maybe it's a bar it's a it's a tie to the strain do I need an indica opposed to a sativa Indicas are more relaxing. Do I need this? Or is it okay if I'm just drinking some wine? You know? Um, I know the wine is a lot more manageable. Wine just gets you there faster, you know? <laughs> but I don't know. Who knows, dude? The world keeps spinning. Spinning around, 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 around. Around, 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 around. <clears throat> it is 11 o'clock right now. It's 11, what time is it? It's 11.30. I was going to try to keep this a little shorter. Um, what else did I want to share with you? So when, so when it comes to narratives, so I'm talking about my mom influencing me on 
like, um, like so not trying to influence, but like she's influencing me on my drug use or cannabis habit. And I definitely see the point of, um, her patient, her patients not feeling like it's serving their goals because I don't think smoking weed makes me a better podcaster or a better person. I'm also not convinced that alcohol does that either, but I'm more open to using uh, cannabis on a daily basis. And so therefore you really have to, I have to really look at myself, how I am when I consume anything on a daily basis, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm consuming raw milk, raw dairy products every day or cannabis or wine every day, like whatever I'm taking in, you know, I'm trying to understand how my body is, how my spirit is, how my everything is, how my mental and heart is. <clears throat> and I felt more anxious on weed, you know, simple as that, simple as that. So I'm taking in these words from my mother and I'm taking them to heart because God damn it, that's what you're supposed to do. And I really appreciate my mom for bringing this up. You know, I didn't know what she was going to tell me. When I asked her what topic to talk about, I did not think she was going to talk about marijuana. Pot. Everyone who was born before the 1990s says pot. I hate that word. I The, the, the words I use are the words I use. Cannabis, weed, marijuana. Like, these are the words I like. Pot. Sounds so, like, dirty, you know. I'm just going to be a connoisseur. You have to understand I'm a former bud tender. I understand cannabis on a molecular level. But who does, really? Who has the answer? Um, Do you smoke weed? Do you drink cannabis? What is your go-to relaxation at the end of a long-ass day if you worked overtime? How do you relax? Is it exercise? I know I need to exercise right after work more often. I tried doing like a little 40-minute exercise before work today. I felt pretty good. <clears throat> do you go to the gym? Do you sauna? Do you stretch? Do you, do you yoga? Um, do you go to the park? Do you try to get the sunset? Um, do you try to get the sunrise? Like how do you do this? Um, I think the world needs more suggestions like this. The world needs more talking about how to be healthy and how – and and have an honest conversation about their consuming habits. Where are you with your consuming? You know, are you consuming too much? Is there anywhere in your life where you're not consuming um, the right things? Um, it could be a situation that you're consuming too little. Maybe you're afraid to do something for your body. And you just don't want to, you just don't want to do it because of something in front of you. I'm telling you to hop over it. You have the capacity to hop over it, okay? Don't got to be afraid of that. Because I know that I'm not afraid of stop smoking weed. You know, I'm not married to I'm not married to cannabis. Um, I'm not married to alcohol either. I know that these things are like can be rough, but you know, we just live in a world. We live in a world of drinking and smoking. <clears throat> And then especially on Mother's Day, like, my mom's drinking mimosas. Every woman at <laughs> at the steakhouse is ordering a glass of wine. Everyone's doing that. So, you know, I'm not trying to overthink on this, but I am trying to discuss it as a human being. Like, what are the values? And what are the benefits? And how does it serve you? And what are your habits? You know, my habits, I'm just trying to relax and connect. That's what I like to do. Whether, whether it's alcohol or marijuana, you know, both of those things, the thing that's positive about them is they both invite a community. I was able to be with my friends, decompress, talk about the day, and then we all went our separate ways. You know, same thing happens with alcohol. A glass of wine, pint of beer, doesn't matter. You're having a good time with your boys. You're chilling after work. You're just... You know, that that's like a way to wash away the day. And I'm not trying to trigger anyone if you have any addiction issues, but people who have addiction issues, you know, they have their own little vices if you're like in recovery or something. I was just speaking to a former alcoholic tonight after work, the guy who was running 
who runs the uh, the parking garage, he was telling me his story. And he was an alcoholic, and he had like a coming to God moment. And <clears throat> it just it just wasn't serving him. Like these things just weren't serving him. But now it's his emphasis on his faith and daily routine is what keeps him in check. So like there's this huge aspect of personal decision making um, that I think is interesting. Like just just observing it, just hearing this guy this guy's story, there's something interesting about the person making the choice to stop or to begin. It's very interesting. And how there's so much agency one has over stopping and beginning. You really have that choice. You really do. And I'm grabbing this from my mom's text message. Like, these people, her patients literally made a choice to have the perspective that it just wasn't serving their goals anymore. It wasn't helping them achieve what they wanted to achieve. So they dropped it. And I'm in a similar season. And so I'm curious where you are right now, dude. Where are you at with that, dude? Where are you at with that? That's the value I got, man. That's the value America Plus has, dude. Are you listening to your mothers? Are you being aware of what you're consuming? You know? This is how we create a more beautiful world our hearts know as possible. When we love our mothers and we love ourselves <laughs> and we don't do unhealthy things, you know, that's some real stuff, dude. Um, <clears throat> I want to go into the value for value section, uh, the Booster Grams. America Plus is a value for value show. Uh, if you don't know what value for value is, that is the future model of producing content online. Pretty much I put up this content up front on my own for you to receive, and you're able to reciprocate that value um, in three different ways. It's time, talent, and treasure. Um, You listening, you returning, you sharing uh, the show, I appreciate that. Thank you for that. That's how you can engage. Uh, Talent, if you have any song suggestions uh, for for my other podcasts, um, reach out to me, send me that. If you're a musician and, and you have music that you want to be that, that you want played, I'm, I'm, I'm about to play a song here after the boost of grams. If you want, want me to play your song, like that's your talent. That's how you can provide to the show as well. That's valuable. And the last thing is a monetary value treasure. Um, I, there's two main ways that you can do that. You can send me money through PayPal or you can boost me in a modern podcast app similar to Fountain. Go to value4value.info for more info, then download the Fountain.fm app. It's the best way to support the show. Fountain.fm is one of my favorite modern podcasting apps. It provides you a wallet for little bits of Bitcoin called Satoshis, and then you can send those Satoshis to any podcaster and any music, any song, um... Like that's that's streaming on an RSS feed. It's incredible. I've been listening to a bunch of um, value for value music podcasts. It's been a blast. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be reading some, some messages from last week. Um, uh, and I think I only got like one. Whoops. What I do here? I had the Albi emails and then I lost it. Um, I think I only have one. Let me just do one more double check. I'm going to read this one from that Joel W. And we're going to see if we have any more. Um, he sends in his wonderful 1,111 sats. Um, he was talking about last week, number 121, sun sniffles. I continue to talk about my health patterns. Go back to that one and listen. He says, Joel has a suggestion for us. He says, Start each day by going outside for 10 to 15 minutes, even if you just sit there with a coffee, but get the sun, get that sun first thing. Yes, sir. Boosting is loving. The Joel. Thank you very much, dude. That's real. Um, Yeah, I I try to do the Huberman um, that gets sunlight in my eyes for a few minutes um, to up my testosterone. So I, I, I definitely try to do that on a sunny day. Um, but I think I need to go out more. There's just no grassy areas right next to me. I'm in this freaking concrete apartment building. You know, it's all asphalt and sidewalk. So I, there's no real no real fun way I can experience uh, the, uh, um, <clears throat> the sun, you know. 
Um, and then, yeah, Joel was just, that, Joel was the only one. Oh, wait, actually, I don't think Joel was the only one. Was he? Oh, dude, it's not on my Albi, dude. <clears throat> not on my Albi. So I'm just going to assume that he didn't have it. I know for a fact Frillis uh, streamed in some sats. Thank, shout out to Frillis. I know Shannon sent in some Satoshis as well. Um, oh, Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. What did you boost? Did you did you send a message? I, um, the last one I just did a heart and a muscle emoji. Oh, okay, cool. Shannon just did a heart and a muscle emoji. So thank you very much, Shannon. Shout out to that. Uh, do you remember how much you sent? Shannon sent in a wonderful 333 sats heart emoji and strong emoji. Boost. And now, as the French say, it is time for le boost. It's basically... You put Bitcoin with anything, and all of a sudden, that is more efficient. Thank you to all those people wanting to donate. That's a, that's value for value. Um, you can be a part of the America Plus community if you want to. Download Fountain App. Download any modern podcast app at podcastapps.com. There's a bunch to choose from. Choose your favorite one, and just hang out with us, dude. Hang out with us and have a good time. That's the real thing we need. Um, it's the future. Um, what I want to do now is let's play a song. <laughs> 